Allen, Anderson, Bates, Bell, Berryhill, Block, Canella, De Leon, Fuller, Gaines, Galjani, Glazer, Hall, Hancock, Hernandez, Hertzberg, Hill, Hueso, Huff, Jackson, Lada, Leno, Leva, Lou, McGuire, Mendoza, Mitchell, Monning, Morlock, Morell, Wynn, Nilsson, Pan, Pavley, Roth, Runner, Stone, Vidak, Wachowski, Wolk. Uh, a quorum is present. Would the members and our guests be on the rail and in the gallery please rise? We will be led in prayer this morning by our chaplain, Sister Michelle Gorman, at, after which, please remain standing. We will be led in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag by Senator Morlock. Let us recall again that we are in God's presence. And we pray in gratitude for the blessings of this year in the words of Rabindranath Tagore. Loving God, you have made us known to friends whom we knew not. You have given us seats in homes not our own. You have brought the distant near and made a brother, sister of the stranger. We are uneasy at heart when we have to leave our accustomed shelter. We forget that there abides the old and the new and that there also you abide. Through birth and death, in this world or in others, wherever you lead us, you link our hearts with bonds of joy to the unfamiliar. When one knows you, then alien there is none. Then no door is shut. O oh, grant us our prayer that we may never lose the bliss of the touch of the one in the play of the many. Amen. Years ago, the California Republic became the 31st state of the United States of America to, who, to whose flag we pledge today, ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States Members, uh, privileges of the floor. Privileges of the floor. Under privileges of the floor, Senator Galgiani. Members, please join me in welcoming former Senator Bill Campbell. Welcome, Senator Campbell. Right. Members, we're now going to move on to messages from the governor will be deemed read. Messages from the assembly will be deemed read. 
Reports of committee will be deemed read and amendments adopted. Motions, resolutions, and notices. The following bills are referred to the Rules Committee. Pursue it to Senate Rule 29.1, Item 20, Senate Bill 414, 29.10D, and Item 170, AB 691, 29.10B. Senator Jackson, for what purpose do you rise? Under motions and resolutions, Mr. President. Please. At the request of the author, please move file item 70 to the inactive file. And uh, I'd also like to request that AB 1366, which is item 96, also be moved to the inactive file at the request of the author. The desk will note on both items. Thank you. Senator Bell, under what purpose do you rise? Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to request uh, SB 16 to the inactive file. The desk will note. Thank you. Under motions and resolutions, members? Seeing none, we'll now move to consideration of the daily file. And we're going to move members directly to the assembly third reading. And we're going to start uh, with um, item 65. Members will be putting the measures on call. So we're going to go through the roll call once, and then we're going to move the call and move on. Uh, we'll start with file item 65. That is uh, AB 1524. Uh, and do we have a jockey for this? Senator Weso? Senator Weso, not at his desk. I'm going to move to file item 67. Senator Allen, not at his desk. File item 69. Senator Weso, not at his desk. File item 73, Senator Lara, AB 10. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 10 by Assembly Member Gatto, an accolade to the Political Reform Act of 1974. Senator Lara. Thank you, Mr. President, members. AB 10 seeks to modernize the annual financial disclosure form for public officials. The bill has four main components. First, AB 10 will update the conflict of interest thresholds for public officials. These numbers have uh, only been updated once since 1974. This bill will also include middle and upper tiers in the financial disclosures on the FPPC Form 700, ensuring public transparency on financial holdings. Additionally, AB 10 will require a more detailed disclosure of these holdings, specifically a more thorough description of any businesses and the names of any business partners. Finally, additional disclosures will be required of public officials when a financial interest triggers a recusal from a governmental decision in a previous year. AB 10 will ensure that California's public officials are more transparent in their business, investment, and income disclosures. The public needs to trust that our elected officials are using their positions to serve all citizens equally. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Thank you, Senator Lara. Members, any debate or discussion? Senator Fuller. I am standing today to say that I am supportive of this bill and it has many good intentions. But I am also wanting to note uh, that of the many 200 bills that we will be voting on in the next few days, uh, I am worried about our process. Our process, uh, and including this bill, is that we now will have between two and five billion dollars over the regular price tag uh, of what we've done in the budget um, to consider before us. So we haven't really set forth our priorities. We're asking to raise taxes and we have a collective among us of well over two billion above budget. At this point, I just want to say that we could be using that money uh, to fund our priorities 
uh, in our extraordinary sessions of transportation and Medi-Cal. We could be using this money um, to, to help those that we want to help most, um, but instead we are looking at 200 bills that are piecemealing out the door and we haven't been able to keep t a, a total of these. As a former school superintendent, one of the first things I had to do was balance the budget. We have balanced the budget and now we are unbalancing it. We have, we have set out our priorities and now our process is allowing us to go around that and add more money on top of the budgeted money in a time when we are considering raising taxes and at a time of record high spending. So I'd just like to um, say that while I am supportive of this bill today, I am concerned about this bill and many of the bills that have good intentions that I will be supporting today because our process allows us, unfortunately, to do these outside the budget, above the budget, and then ask for more taxes at a time when we have record spending. Uh, and I don't think that that's really in the best interest of the people we serve. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Fuller. Members, any further debate or discussion? Seeing none, Senator Lara, would you like to close? Thank you, Mr. President. I respectfully ask for your aye votes. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. Aye. Aye Anderson. Aye. Aye Bates. Aye Bell. Aye Berryhill. Aye Block. Aye Canella. Aye De Leon. Fuller. Aye. Aye Gaines. Aye. Aye Galgioni. Aye Glazer. Aye, Aye Hall. Aye. Aye Hancock. Aye. Aye Hernandez. Hertzberg. Hill. Aye Wesso. Aye. Aye Huff. I Jackson, I Lada, I Leno, I Leva, I Lou, I McGuire, I Mendoza, Mitchell, I Monning, Morlock, I Morrell, I Win, I Nielsen, I Pan, I Pavley, I Roth, I Runner, Stone, I Vidak, I Wachowski, Wolk. Senator Lara moves the call. Members, we're now going to move to uh, file item 79. And let me recite a few more that will be coming up in order. File item 79, 82, 83, 84, and 86. So getting back to file item 79, Senator Mitchell. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 260 by Assemblymember Lopez and Ackling to Foster Care. Senator Mitchell. Good morning, Mr. President and colleagues. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm pleased to present AB 260 on behalf of Assemblymember Lopez. It deals with parenting foster youth. That's youth that are in foster care themselves who are also young parents. It's important that our state provide services to parenting foster youth to give them the tools to properly care for their children that they may not have received themselves. Specifically, this bill will protect certain information of this subcategory of foster youth, parenting foster youth. It will protect certain information in their case file from being inappropriately used in order to keep their, in order for them to keep custody of their own children. This bill will still allow for some information to be provided when the court sees it materially relevant. AB 260 seeks to end the vicious cycle of placing children in foster care generation after generation. On behalf of uh, Ms. Lopez, I ask for your aye vote. Thank you, Senator Mitchell. Members, any debate or discussion? Seeing none, Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. Anderson. Aye. aye Bates. Aye. aye Bell. Aye, aye Berryhill. I Block, I Canella, I De Leon, Fuller, I Gaines, I, I Galgioni, I Glazer, I Hall, I Hancock, I Hernandez, Hertzberg, I Hill, I Wesso, I Huff, I Jackson, I Lada, Leno, I Leva, I Lou, I McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, I Monning, Morlock. I Morrell, I Wynn, I Nielsen, Pan, I Pavley, I Roth, I Runner, I Stone, 
Aye. Vidak? Aye. Aye. Wykowski? Aye. Aye. Walk? Allen Aye. Allen Aye. Aye. Nielsen Aye. Senator Mitchell moves the call. Members are going to move now to file item 82, Senator Hill. Pass on file. File item 83, Senator Allen. Pass on file. File item 84, Senator Block. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 1292 by Assemblymember DeBobney and Act Link to Financial Institutions. Senator Block. Thank you, Mr. President. AB 1292 establishes the Bank on California program within the Department of Business Oversight. The goal of the program is incredibly valuable to increase the supply of starter accounts and products offered by participating financial institutions, such as no and low cost checking and savings accounts. Additionally, the program raises awareness among unbanked individuals about the benefits of account ownership and makes quality money management education more easily available to un- and underbanked individuals. Bank on California, as the first in the nation, stands as a role model to the rest of the country and as a necessary resource for the local level bank on programs. Therefore, it's important that we provide stability and longevity to this very important statewide program. The bill has bipartisan support, and I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Great. Thank you, Senator Block. Uh, members, any debate or discussion? Seeing none, Secretary, please call the roll. Allen? Aye. Anderson? Aye. Aye Bates? Aye. Aye Bell? Aye. Aye Berryhill? Aye. Aye Block? Aye. Aye Canella? Aye. Aye De Leon? Fuller? Gaines? No. No. Galjoni? Aye Glazer? Aye. Aye Hall? Aye. Aye Hancock? Aye. Hernandez? Hertzberg? Aye Hill? Aye, Aye Whistle? I Huff, I Jackson, I Lada, I Leno, I Leva, I Lou, I McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, I Morning, Morlock, Morell, Morlock I, Morell I, Win, I Nilsson, I Pan, I Pavley, I Roth, I Runner, I Stone, I Vidak. Aye, Wachowski. Aye. aye, Wolk. Gaines, no to aye. Gaines, no to aye. Senator Block moves the call. We're now going to go back to file item 67, Senator Allen. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 1535 by the Committee on Elections and Redistricting, an act relating to elections. Uh, Mr. Senator President, Allen. members, this is one of the Assembly Elections and Redistricting Committee's omnibus bills. It contains various minor and technical changes to provisions in the Elections Code. All the provisions of this bill are either changes requested by the counties or the California Special Districts Association. It includes some permissive language. Uh, the bill has no opposition. It's received unanimous support thus far, and I Respectfully ask for an aye vote. Thank you, Senator Allen. Members, any debate or discussion? Seeing none, Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Bates. Bell. Aye. Berryhill. Aye. Block. Aye. Canella. Aye. De Leon. Fuller. Gaines. Galjoni. Aye. Glazer. Aye. Hall. Aye. Hancock. I Hernandez, Hertzberg, I Hill, I Hueso, I Huff, I Jackson, I Lada, I Leno, I Leva, I Lou, I McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, I Morning, Morlock, I Morell, Wynn, Nielsen, Pan, I Pavley. I Roth, I Runner, I Stone, I Vidak, I Wykowski, I Wolk. Gaines I. Gaines I. Fuller I, Morell I, Bates I, Wynn I. Senator Allen moves the call. 
Senator Morlock, for what purpose do you rise? Mr. President, for privileges of the floor? Yes, please. Uh, Mr. President, we have a colleague today who looks a lot older, and we should recognize his birthday, and that is Senator Bob Huff. Congratulations, Bob. Happy All birthday. Right. Happy 39th birthday. <laughs> Members, now we're going to move back to file item 86. Uh, Senator Leva. Yeah, Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 1361 by Assemblymember Burke and Ackling to Student Financial Aid. Senator Leva. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, colleagues. Assembly Bill 1361 provides current and former members of the armed forces greater access to higher education by removing the age eligibility requirement in order to qualify for the Cal Grant Transfer Entitlement Program. Current law requires a student to be the age of 27 or younger in order to be eligible for the Cal Grant Transfer Entitlement Program. Unfortunately, the age eligibility requirement presents a barrier for veterans who attend college later in life due to their prior military service. According to the Million Records Project by the Student Veterans of America, nationwide, 85% of veteran students are older than 24 years of age, 40% of veteran students are supporting a family, and 46% of veteran students are 25 years of age or older when they first enroll in college. AB 1361 will remove this barrier and ensure that veterans have access to financial aid and are able to pursue their educational go goals. I respectfully ask for an I vote. Thank you, Senator Leva. Members, any debate or discussion? Seeing none, Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. I. Anderson. I. Bates. I. Bell. I. Berryhill. I. Block. I. Canella. I. De Leon. Fuller, Gaines, aye. I Galjoni, I Glazer, I Hall, I Hancock, I Hernandez, Hertzberg, I Hill, I Wesso, I Huff, I Jackson, I Lada, Leno, I Leva, I Lou, I McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, I Monning, Morlock, I Morell. I Win, I Nilsson, I Pan, I Pavley, I Roth, I Runner, I Stone, I Vidak, I Wachowski, I Walk. Senator Leva moves the call. Members, the next uh, five bills we're going to move to are file items 87, 88, 89. 90 and 94. Starting with file item 87, Senator Canella. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 1412 by Assembly Member Perea and Ackling to Redevelopment. Senator Canella. Thank you, Mr. President. AB 1412 is a district bill that would allow a small rural city that Mr. Perea and I share to have the repayment of the loan made between the former redevelopment agency and the city of San Joaquin to be accelerated. The accelerated, accelerated loan repayment will bring greater cash flow more quickly to the city of San Joaquin and affected taxing entities. It is estimated the city loan will be repaid 28 years sooner and taxing entities would receive an additional $5.2 million in property tax revenues to fund their services. For a city whose annual budget is less than $950,000, the funds received from the loan uh, acceleration will have a huge impact. This bill has received bipartisan support and has no opposition. Respectfully ask for an I vote. Thank you, Senator Canella. Members, any debate or discussion? Seeing none, Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. I. Anderson. I. Bates. I. Bell. I. Berryhill. I. Block. I. Canella. I. De Leon. Fuller. Gaines. I. I. Galgioni. Glazer. Hall. I Hancock, I Hernandez, Hertzberg, I Hill, I Wesso, I Huff, I Jackson, I Lada, Leno, I Leva, I Lou, I McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, Monning, Morlock, I Morell, I Win, I Nilsson, I Pan, I Pavley. I Roth, I Runner, 
Aye, Stone. Aye, Vidak. Aye. Aye, Wykowski. Aye. Aye, Wolk. Wolk, aye. <coughs> Glazer, aye. Senator Canella moves the call. Members, we're going to move to file item 88, Senator Mendoza. File item 88, pass on file. Members will move on to file item 89, Senator Mitchell. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 854 by Assemblymember Weber, an act to educational services and declaring the urge thereof to take effect immediately. Senator Mitchell. Thank you, Mr. President. AB 854 is the enacting legislation that will release the $25.4 million budget allocation to LEAs that will align the Foster Youth Services Program with the local control funding formula by leveraging the program's expertise in county and regional collaboration with child welfare, probation, the courts, and other key stakeholders. Specifically, it's, it seeks to expand the program to foster youth living with relatives and guardians. The amendments made in the bill reflect the conversations between the author's office, Senate, and governor staff in supporting efforts to ensure that the budget allocation is allocated in an effective manner. Additionally, this bill also includes a hold harmless um, component to ensure that there is continuity in services for existing programs to continue the strong work that they have developed. It also includes a transparent funding allocation methodology and several key provisions to ensure that the funding is distributed equitably. Lastly, this bill includes an urgency clause that ensures that the monies are allocated in a timely manner. The school year, as we all know, has already begun, and this delay has caused some programs to begin the school year with diminished resources and their, their inability to provide effective supports and services to their foster youth. A no vote would be a vote to eliminate this vital program that supports the educational success of our students in foster care. I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Thank you, Senator Mitchell. Members, any debate or discussion? Seeing none, Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. Aye. aye Anderson. Aye. aye Bates. Aye, aye Bell. Aye. aye Berryhill. Aye, aye Block. Aye, aye Canella. Aye. aye De Leon. Aye Fuller. Aye, aye Gaines. Aye. Aye Galgioni. Aye Glazer. Aye Hall. Aye, aye Hancock. Aye. aye Hernandez. Aye, aye Hertzberg. Aye Hill. Aye Weso. Huff. Aye Jackson. Aye Lada. Leno. Aye Leva. Aye Lou. Aye McGuire. Aye Mendoza. Aye Mitchell. Aye Monning. Aye Morlock. Aye Morrell. Aye Wynn. Aye Nielsen. Aye Pan. Aye Pavley. Aye Roth. Aye Runner. Aye Stone. Aye, Vidak. Aye, Wykowski. Aye, Wolk. Wolk, aye. Secretary, please call the absent members. Weso. Lada. Members, we're now going to announce the vote. And uh, so uh, for... Um, File item 89, ayes 38, no zero, measure passes. On the urgency and on the measure. Members, we're now gonna lift the call on the uh, previous votes. That's great, and we're gonna start with uh, file item 67. Secretary, please call the absent members. De Leon. Aye. Hernandez, aye. Monning, aye. Nielsen, Wolk, Wolk, aye. Nielsen, aye. Ayes 40, no zero. Measure passes. We're going to move to file item 73. Secretary, please call the absent members. De Leon, aye. Hernandez, aye. Hertzberg, aye. Mendoza, aye. Monning. I runner. I Wachowski. I walk. Walk I. Eyes 40, no zero. Measure passes. Members are going to move to file item 79. Secretary, please call the absent members. 
De Leon. I. Hernandez. I. Morning. I. Walk. Walk I. Ayes 40, no zero. Measure passes. We're going to move to file item 84. Secretary, please call the absent members. De Leon. I. Fuller. I. Hernandez. I. Morning. I. Walk. Walk I. Ayes 40, no zero. Measure passes. Move to file item 86. Secretary, please call the absent members. De Leon. I. Fuller. Hernandez. I. Lara. I. Morning. I. Walk. Walk I. Ayes 39, no zero. Measure passes. And the last one is file item 87. Secretary, please read. The absent members. De Leon. I. Fuller. I. Galgiani. Hernandez. I. Lada. I. Mitchell. Moni. I. Secretary, please call the absent members. Galgiani. Mitchell. I. Ice 39, no zero. Measure passes. Thank you, members. Uh, we're now going to get back into file order. We're going to start with uh, file item 90. Senator Mitchell, are you prepared to bring this item forward?